Welcome back to AP Psychology in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Alright, so I know you've seen this model of memory from me like a billion times by now, but did you know I actually forgot something on it? Really quickly, let me explain what I mean. When something is in your long-term memory, you can't just access it. I like to imagine long-term memory as a library of books. If you actually want to remember any of this content, you need to walk through it and actually find the correct book. This is a process known as memory retrieval. You are trying to get your memory back from your long-term memory into your work working memory so you can recall it. But some memories are easier to recall than others. I'm sure you've had moments in your life where it took a while to remember something. Memory retrieval occurs by one of two things. Recall, which is where you retrieve and bring previously stored information back into conscious awareness without any cues. Or recognition, where you identify and confirm whether a stimulus has been encountered before by using retrieval cues. You will have more successful retrieval if you use specific retrieval practice processes. Like the testing effect where you take practice quizzes or tests on previously studied material, or metacognition, where you think about your thought processes. Both of these are proven ways to better retrieve memory. Retrieval can also be improved by context-dependent memory, which is remembering better in the same environment, state-dependent memory, which is remembering better in the same physical state, and mood-congruent memory, which is recalling memories that match your current mood. On the screen now are some AP-style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. I will see you on the next one.